Hello, my name is Allison Vernon. I'm a palette knife artist. Come paint with me. Today, we're going to be painting a scene from a mountaintop. We're going to start with the sky, which is always the furthest back part of the canvas. The, the atmosphere wraps around the earth. I'm a little out of my league here, but the atmosphere wraps around the earth and the earth is round. So that means anywhere on in the sky, the, earth, the color of the sky is going to be different color from anywhere else in the sky. And if you take your hand and make a quarter size and look up at the sky, and you'll see that every shade of blue up there is slightly different than any other place. Um, oh, here, let me just get rid of this. Than any other place in the sky. So what I've done is I've made gradations of blue. I've started out with a little bit of ultramarine blue mixed with phalo blue and white. And I'm, I used various amounts of white to lighten the sky as I go down so that I want to have this corner of the sky be the darkest and this area down here be the lightest color. So I'm going to keep on moving down and establish my lightest light at the base of the sky here. And you'll see that I'm cutting my canvas pretty much in half uh, so that the sky is going to be a very uh, integral part to this painting. And I'm just, when I mix my paint, I mash the paint together, the colors together, sort of like you would mash potatoes. And you mash, 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 and scrape it off and mash it until the color is one shade. Okay, so now you see that I've blocked in the colors. And now the next phase I'm going to do is something called, I call scuttling. I made it up. I don't know why. And I'm going to use this special knife. You'll see that this knife has pointy edges and, and it comes to a point. And this knife, believe it or not, is a knife even though it's round. This knife combines both those characteristics and is rounded on the sides, but it's a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend. You hear that sound? It's a scraping sound. And what I'm doing is I'm really working the canvas and the colors. And it looks pretty funny now. But then I'm going to smooth. Smooth, smooth these colors together. And this process takes a little time. And then you wipe. I don't get too upset over uh, some striations of color across the canvas because I'll use those to make clouds. And actually, uh, they're handy. It, it's sort of the canvas, in some regards, I decide what I'm going to paint. And then at some point, the painting takes over and tells me exactly how it's going to look. So right now, this just by the nature of the way the white went on the blue, I'm seeing where clouds should go in. Just smooth this out a little bit more. We're just about ready. There now, we've got all the blue in and when we come back, we're going to be painting our clouds. And you'll see at the base of your screen an email address. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me the questions and I'll either get back to them during this show or the next episode. Thanks a lot.